Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda's Adventure and we're moving onwards and upwards as the guy here uh, said in the previous video as you might remember and we're going over here with the with the shut up oh oh you want a piece of me huh all right you can get it there you go uh, I don't know what these guys are <laughs> they sound like ducks Again, it's just an animal pack they've used or something. It's just so awkward, these sounds. Yeah. Just the sound these things would make, don't you think? What's with the hearts when I'm full? Typical Zelda logic. Come in, sit with me. Warm right. yourself by the fire. I know it can get colder than Ganon's heart up here. But I have endured worse. Once, when I was in the forest of Torian, uh, no, it was it was the forest of Canvula. No, no, it cannot be true. For Canvula wood is always hot. And did I say I did say it was cold, right? Well, then it was the forest of Torian. <sighs> Seriously. And it has no relevance whatsoever again, and you cannot do anything with the guys, so they just put it in there for... Ha, ah, that's funny. Holy shit, that's a big bird. Let's kill it. Actually, we can't, because he needs to pick us up. And he'll drop us off at the next dungeon. The uh, air dungeon, I suppose. Again, where's the consistency game? First you have a dungeon that could either be greed or earth, you know, element, or human trade and then we have illusion <laughs> and uh, no I need to sp this spell of calm and now we have the uh, shrine of wind or air or whatever it just makes no sense there's no consistency whatever whatsoever again as the wand touches the enemy it takes priority over the actual item and it sucks no my rupees because I want them, and uh, as you can see, these winds only can be uh, conquered by the spell of calm. Because that calms the wind, or something? I don't know, there's probably some logic somewhere here. Get off me! Oh my goodness. Did he spawn on top of me? Wow, one uh, half a heart left. This is going great. <laughs> yeah, it's really starting to get annoying that the uh, you, you you cannot hit the uh, enemies when they're close, as you can see. And of course, they uh, like to get close. And whatever the hell these guys are, I have no idea, but they better drop us some hearts here. Well, thank you. That's no hearts. It's a bow and arrow, though. Not sure <laughs> what Zelda would want with that. Because she's a magic user. So, you know, I, I, can, I can imagine conjuring up an arrow, but what's with the bow? You can never catch me! <laughs> Ah, oh, cheap game. Ah, oh, that was so cheap. Oh well, be right back, guys. Alright, guys, uh, after dying another time, and this time I didn't get hit once, and of course everything drops freaking hearts again. <laughs> I'm just gonna run straight through here now and avoid any of these uh, spike things. And uh, yeah, actually get past this screen for once. Shut up, and you actually need to get all the way down here for it to uh, actually transfer to the next screen, which has, uh, I don't know, he's, he's scary, the giant puff thing. And he uh, takes quite a bit of hits. For a mini boss, he's uh, kind of interesting, because most dungeons don't have a mini boss. But there we go, and he, uh, he killed me. 
Sometimes you can get him stuck up here, which is uh, pretty nice because then he's a real joke to kill. Uh, all right, we need to go to the right. Uh, you might be able to tell, but the floor in this dungeon is also very slippery because that was a mechanic they uh, figured. Ah, oh, that's fun. So let's make a whole dungeon around that concept. And there's the compass. So uh, let's check out this dungeon map. Yeah, even more straight line-ish, apart from the fact that there is another giant gap in it again. Which uh, will just warp over again, somehow. I don't know how this game works, it's just weird with the maps. <laughs> it also has no floors, uh, it's just silly. I have no idea what these guys are called, and... Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what kind of sound it is uh, either, and frankly, I don't think I want to know what it is. <laughs> Doesn't sound that uh, that nice. Yeah, and of course now it only gives money. Oh, that was hard. All right, I didn't say anything. Sorry, game. Continue on with giving hearts. What are these things? Kind of look like snails or something. I don't know. Uh, Oh, there's that snail enemy in, in uh, the adventure of Link. Not sure what it's called. Yeah, and of course, only money. Oh well. <laughs> Hopefully something drops some hearts because, uh, man, there's some uh, tough shit coming up. Ah, there we go. No, don't go away. I needed that one. Yeah, what do we have here? Oh no, flies. I get... I'm getting, I'm getting all itchy by that. Uh, I guess these could be booms? Uh, these guys do tend to drop a lot of hearts, luckily. Except now, of course. <laughs> Uh, go figure. That that's really typical Zelda stuff right there because uh, you know in most Zelda games, when you need hearts you get rupees. When you need rupees you get hearts. Right or right? That's what I thought. Oh no, sneaking over from behind by me. Oh come on, give me some hearts here. Have a heart. Of course they don't. This is not looking well for me here, guys, because, uh, yeah, probably need to go do it again. So, bold one, you challenge me. Can you be serious? Yeah. Uh, there's no real weapon this guy is weak against, I think. Maybe the big flame we uh, didn't buy in the store. So I'm just gonna take out the arrow because it's one uh, only one rupee, and hit him with that because he's really because of the slippery floor. It's nearly impossible to go after him safely. And why are my, some of my arrows going straight through him? Look at that. But uh, yeah, this is uh, going to take a while. Now you can see how uh, how weak weapons are actually in this uh, in this game. Zelda's one to make short work of pretty much everything, but uh, the weapons, not so much. Can I want to even hit him uh, this time around? I'm not sure. Seems that half the time he doesn't get hit at all. But yeah, this, this one takes like a ton of hits. It's ridiculous. Stop complaining and start dying, will you? We just have a lot of uh, invulnerability frames, but I don't know. But yeah, maybe the flame is uh, the flame we didn't buy is uh, is his weakness. But otherwise, I don't think he has one. I I'm not sure. And even the flame, I think, isn't really it. Anyway, we got a rug, and I I believe the rug. I don't think we need to enable it, do we? I never really tested. it. But I think the rug is supposed to make you uh, less slip around on the ice. But yeah, 
uh, I don't really notice it at all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, seems to be a worthless item. Oh well, we will have to just manage, I suppose. Oh no, spikes! Let's just go over here then. Which is a dead end full with bats or keys or whatever. And I have no idea what kind of sound that is, but it doesn't sound like a bat. Although it comes closer to an actual bat than most enemies uh, sound like their actual appearance. And uh, yeah, it's a dead end, there's nothing there. It's just there, but yeah, I figured I'd show it anyway. What we actually need to do is push this block, because uh, Zelda has uh, pushing block mechanics, you know. And uh, you can also push the stop one, but enemies will spawn and we're not gonna deal with that. We're just gonna continue on, thank you very much. Yeah, there's no indication that all of a sudden you have to do that. <sighs> that sound. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's kinda nice that's in there, I, I suppose, but uh, don't expect much more of that or any big puzzly things with blocks. And now we get some more very awkward looking enemies. And what kind of sound is that? If anyone knows, let me know. Because I have no idea. <laughs> Sounds scary. And what are those enemies for that matter? I don't know. Ah, here's another little puzzle of the game. And that's in quotations there. Because it's not very tough. You just shoot this thing with the uh, bow and arrow. I think as long as you... Come on, move over it, Zelda. There you go. Not that hard, is it? Uh, where was I? Ah, oh, yeah. As long as you don't shoot the thing, then I think there are uh, those crystals that come at you again. So, again, if you don't come here with the shield, it's going to be a lot tougher. Here are some feathered friends for you to play with. <laughs> Gotta love that at the end. <laughs> Just so random. Uh, people shouldn't add that to their uh, speeches. Uh, I think we're actually at the boss right now. Since she says feathered friend, these guys might be those birdmen at the end of the adventure of Link. What are they called again? Uh, I forgot. Oh well, someone's gonna correct me on it. Anyway, for the boss we need to feather. Because it's actually her feather and that's where she's weak against. There she is. And again, we uh, don't hit her half the time. And it's really annoying because of that. I wonder if I'll do as good as the uh, previous boss. Oh, you... So it is your feather. Oh, come on. Shouldn't be too long now, right? No other weapon can hurt her, so uh, you will need the, uh, the feather. And we're done. Sweet. Wasn't too hard. Again, the first boss is probably the toughest, because... Uh, well, you just only have three hearts. And he moves so damn sporadically. <laughs> Or randomly, I should say. Anyway, time for more wise words. You are a brave princess indeed. Your quest continues to the northwest, to a place of burial where destiny can be challenged. Remember, nothing is written, Zelda. You alone control your fate, no matter how loud the voices of doom may be. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for those wise words of encouragement and uh, an optimistic view on the future. <laughs> oh well. But uh, to the northwest we go and uh, get to the next dungeon and we'll leave it off there. Because this one is really close by, we actually passed it uh, in the previous video, believe it or not. Or just passed it, I should say, because we weren't on the actual screen, but we were one screen... Uh, Come here. Besides Sit it. With me. Warm yourself no, thank you. We're just moving on. You can have your silly stories about the force or whatever. Uh, some other time, because we don't care. No. We have to kill more uh, duck birds. Things. 
I don't know. We're doing pretty good on rupees, by the way, and uh, I like that. Shouldn't use, uh, have to use too many in the next dungeon, but uh, the dungeon after that, oh boy. <laughs> it's gonna drain us clean of rupees. More wise words. Something you seek nope. Is Just the same old uh, story. And yeah, NPCs do that, unfortunately. So we uh, move through here, back again. To the Shrine of Destiny, which sounds uh, really awesome, but uh, it's... Uh, yeah, it's coming down to a bit of a weak payoff, to be honest. What hey, witchy witch. Comes this way? Me, what you gonna do about it? And uh, here's actually the entrance to the next dungeon. Would you have come here before, then there would be spikes on this door. So, uh, <laughs> you can't do the dungeons out of order. Anyway guys, that's it for uh, this time, because uh, we're doing pretty good on time, I think. And uh, next time we'll take on this dungeon, and maybe a bit more. So until then guys, see ya!